Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to the basement as I'm finally getting to the Yellowstone prequel part B. <laughs> but it's 1923, Harrison Ford, Helen Mirren, who I aspire to be when I grow up. I love her, I love her. Dutch and Ranch, for reals this time y'all, for reals. Because here's the thing about 1883. It was fine. If I had known that's what I was getting was 1883, which as much as y'all might want to say, it was not a Yellowstone prequel because it really had Jack Squat to do with the ranch. And my favorite part of Yellowstone, the series, is the ranch. So hopefully now we're going to get more of the ranch lore and how some of the traditions and whatnot have come to be. That's what I'm looking forward to. I don't really know what else because with Yellowstone, who knows? <laughs> who knows? But thank you so much for being with me on this journey. And if this is your first time, hi, welcome. Uh, all of 1883 and all of Yellowstone up to what's been released mid season five is available on YouTube and full episode watch longs are on Patreon. So if you want to catch up, cool. Please keep in mind that everything I say going forward though is my opinion. It's just my opinion. It's based on my own past life experience, research, observations, you and I are going to view things differently because we have led different lives. And that's okay. That's what makes these reaction videos so fun. So with that being said, housekeeping done, I'm gonna get on the big cozy blanket. I think it's hysterical that as soon as I come down to the basement, so cold, everything starts to move. So I'm gonna get cozy, cuddly. I hope you are all cozy, cuddly as well. And let's get to it. Another person already struggling for their life. That seems to be the way. Yellowstone, it was John, 1883, it was Elsa. Wait, wait, just No. Hell is where you'll go if you do this, Mom. But they take me to the nearest sheriff. And where you get your justice without closing the gates of heaven. What do you know about heaven? <gasps> work fast! Work fast, woman! Work fast! Although I don't know why she's shooting this man and if he deserves it. However, it's Helen Mirren and she must be protected at all costs. Right? Right! <laughs> now, I miss what he had said. Did he call her Ma? It sounded like he called her Ma. It followed us from the Scottish Highlands and the slums of Dublin. Wait, is this Elsa's voice? And it followed us here, lurking beneath the pines and in the rivers. We're getting Elsa again. And where it doesn't follow, we hunt it down. That does not look like Montana. <laughs> Um, sir, <laughs> there's a little something behind you. So why are we hunting this majestic beast? Yeah, you could totally smash your head on a rock with just the force of that falling on top of you. My father had three children. Only one would live to see their own children grow. So John died? Little John. I mean, died young? Ooh. Oh, your cattle aren't doing well at all. I can see in the distance. Yipes. <laughs> this has just been one what? What? What scene after another, which um tracks. <laughs> Upon my father's death, my mother wrote to his brother, begging that he bring his family to this wild land and save hers. Oh. A year later, he arrived to find my mother frozen in a snowdrift, her two boys half starved and barely able to speak. He raised them as his own then took my father's dream and made it into an empire. Then the empire crumbled. I have questions already. 
But if you've seen my videos, you would know. Oh yeah, this is another question. What epic, epic saga music are we gonna get as an opening? What I'm finding intriguing, usually everything we see in the 20s is like city and art deco and suits and whatnot. We never really seen a Western 1920s. Signs there's soda shop. Uh -huh. <laughs> sheep getting pretty worked up and only got themselves to blame. You can't run sheep across another man's ground. And lucky you didn't kill the sheep herders as well. Try to find a softer way of saying that in town hall, Jake. Is that Robert Patrick? So I missed, is he sheriff or is he livestock commissioner? They killed our fucking sheep. We don't know who did it. It's those mick bastards right there. Come say mick to my face, you fucking jerk. Well, you paddy swine. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is going to accomplish a lot. the bastards who murdered my sheep because you know who has the lease to where their bodies lay. So you admit you are on someone else's lease. <laughs> if you got too many sheep for your allotment, sell some. Sell some? Oh. Oh. Sell them to who? Oh. So who's over? There's nobody to buy them. Oh. I suggest we work together or that boat is headed back to Britain with all of us. Well, you have a whole mountain range to yourself. You have the land, you have the lease, you have everything. I have what my family fought for. You want to fight me for it, too? If you wanted more land, you should have leased more. Fair. If there was land to be leased, right? Mm -hmm. What do you want to do, Vanner? Duke it out in the middle of the street. Sheep a stock to you. You graze down all your grass, then you push your flock out of another man's grass. The locust ate my grass. Locust ate everybody's grass. Let's ranch in for you. <laughs> Don't touch it! I'm not worried about the other eleven. <laughs> Just you. God damn it! Don't this in my town. You graze another man's lease again, and I'll have your whole flock, and I'm a man of my word. God owns the grass, and you're no God, Jacob Dutton! You're no God! Jacob Dutton, okay. Now, I wish Jacob Dutton had been part of the 1883 crowd, because then I would, I, I, it's weird. I would feel a little bit more solid in the legacy of the Duttons if Jacob just didn't appear out of nowhere. Yeah, that's how I feel. Well, if it wasn't for the easy years, I wouldn't waste my time on the tough ones. I've been here since 1894, Clark. Thank you. I do not remember an easy year. So James was only at the ranch for 11 years? Only 11. Hmm. Don't get him killed a week before his wedding. I told him not to pick this one. That's probably why he picked it. Jeez. Name the ingredients of soap. Oil, lye, and water. Oh, is this the reservation school? Any kind. It's the reservation school. The alkaline? Alkali? How do you get alkali? Good God, woman. I don't know. Why don't you know? It was in yesterday's lecture. I can't remember. Yes, you. I don't. I don't. Punch her. You will not speak that godless filth in my That's right. <laughs> I'd be punching the nun, too. <laughs> I'd so be punching the nun, too. <laughs> Oh, he looks familiar. 
I wonder what precipitated her attack on you, Sister Mai. Oh, I'm sure I've no idea, Father. Show me your hands, child. <gasps> oh. What was the question you couldn't answer? <laughs> she was asking me about soap and I said alkaline instead of alkali. Sister Mai, step forward, please. Would you place your hands on the desk, please? Yeah, where did she learn this method of teaching? Would you recite uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1, please? If I speak in the tongues of men and angels. <laughs> you beat the child, and yet she begs for mercy on your behalf. Perhaps she should be the teacher. Do I have whip snap opinions on people when I watch a show? Yes. I understand your desire to lash out at a sister who lacks compassion, but you lash out. All will lash out. I don't know. I have compassion for you, my if child. He is a good guy or a bad guy because I'm. Place your hands on the shelves, please. Still on the fence. Is he gonna beat her? <laughs> Is he gonna beat her now? <laughs> yes. I have compassion, but I have no mercy. Yes. <laughs> this is terrible. No, we're only learning that the only person that has power is the one that can hit the hardest. <laughs> Remove your towels, fold them, and place them beside your bath. Grab the soap and rub the soap into your washcloth. Begin with your neck. I'm wondering how long these girls have been there. Scrub until I say finish. Prepare yourselves for inspection. What are they inspecting for? Remove your toe. Best for both of us. Stay clear of his office then. Yes, sister. Where are they going to find honey and cedar sap in that place? That's a very, um, terrible thought and sad, <laughs> so sad and depressing. Where are all these men gonna sleep? How, how many outhouses are, or out barns and whatnot are there? That's three days up. Hold them for a few days, two days back. Something like that. That does not get him to the church on time. Well, who the hell gets married on a Wednesday? I don't know, sir. I guess just me. No, we can postpone the wedding or we can postpone the drive and we can't postpone the drive. So you gotta tell your bride that her wedding's gotta wait a week so you can sleep on the ground and drive cattle. Oh, she's married a rancher. I don't know why the wedding should be any different than the marriage. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> you tell her just like that, son. I want to see how that goes over. You let me break it to the boss first, and then we'll see what happens. What's the boss, his wife? we got to run our herd up the mountain. If we don't, they're all going to die. When? Start gathering tomorrow. The wedding's in a week. Does that mean you won't be there? Nobody's gonna be there. The whole valley's pushing cattle. Oh, <laughs> the 
hands for the woman, Jake. If it were for men, we would have spat on our hands and shook on it, and then you would have bent me over the first thing you could find that would hold our weight. <laughs> Not far from Art Abbey, honey. <laughs> She's the daughter of a rancher, honey. That had come as much of a surprise. So whose ranches are they joining together? Is Jack, her, their well, son? How long? A week or two. I've not caught on who's who's related to who and whatnot. Look, I can't wait to get married either. I'd never ask if this wasn't important. Yes, Jack, tell me how important the cattle are. And you know what, while they're so important, here's an idea, why don't you marry one? And when you get to the top of the hill, you have yourself a honeymoon. <laughs> well, that went well. Or I should say, as well as expected. Looks like I'm too late. How poorly did she take it? Well, she told me to, uh, to marry a cow. Go on, go back to the ranch. I'll sort this out for you. No, I think I better stay in case she wants to see me. Oh, she will. She will want to see you, and then you will just say something stupid. And then she won't want to see you anymore. Look, I'm pretty worried, Annie. I'm going to be much use on the ranch. You should... That's right. He called her aunt. I regret not sending Jack back east for school. I feel sometimes that we've robbed him of countless experiences, all of which you've had. But what you haven't had, however, is an education about this way of life. <laughs> and she's going to get one now, I'm going to guess. If you give birth during calving season, it'll be a month before he sees his first child. And you will be free in a way that most people can barely conceive. If this is not the life you want, you must tell the boy now. Because you have to want more than the boy. You have to want the life too. It's fair, fair. Well, have the wedding two weeks from Saturday. Okay. He left. Oh, that you did. <laughs> He's very impulsive. Will you take me to him? Please. We'll leave your father a note. <laughs> One of them's dying. Either her or Jack are dying. Someone's dying. That's the way the show rolls. I see him. Well, what do you know? Will you stop, please? We'll see him up at the house after he's cleaned up a bit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> They're dying. They're so dead. Sorry. I'm sorry. That my daughter, he's got some explaining to do anyway. They ain't married yet. They're as good as married, Bob. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> In my experience, Bob, when the first baby comes, you don't want to be too picky with your math and a calendar. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying it. <gasps> oh, this is a lot of sheep. This is a lot of sheep that I think are going where they're not supposed to go. He's pushing buttons. Fence in the world out of grass he can't even reach. Well, I'm not watching my sheep die while his glass a foot tall no cattle could ever graze. People are dying. They're so gonna die. They're so gonna die. Well, Jacob did say if you steal some grass again, I'll your grass is your ass is grass, essentially, right? <laughs> so Someone do the math for me. No one's buying sheep. So why do you have this many sheep that no one are buying that you can't afford to feed? It sounds like a negative sum game, which doesn't make sense. Oh, and we're now giraffes. This is not sheep. That's not sheep. <laughs> Looks like right out of um, Jungle Cruise. <laughs> uh, we gotta fall back around. 
ride. Can't run, my leg's broken. You gotta ride. I can't run, my leg is broken. So you're just there shooting until you can't, oh, you can't no more. I can't even tell who's whom with the colors. They all look the same. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's, he's, he's angry. Oh, jeez. Yeah, don't. The journey is over, sir. This is your destination. Could have woken him up maybe a different way. <laughs> I have no destination. You have a ticket for Nairobi? I do. Then you have reached your destination, sir. I've reached my next stop. That's all I said. I don't wake well. No, sir. I'd say you don't. <laughs> Too bad he doesn't have a button. Caution upon waking. We haven't been introduced to who this man is yet, right? Supposedly he's a Dutton. James Dutton's last child is what was inferred. Can I have lots of questions? Lots of questions. This looks very colonizing. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's the same leopard. Tried to get into this tent. Oh. Guest took a shot at it. No blood trail. He missed. Lucky he didn't shoot. I was sleeping in that tent. Mm -hmm. Taking away all my bait. No, no, I brought you up some goods. Once I get a taste from man, man is only one to eat. Not to worry, Holland. We'll be the bait. Oh, so these guys travel with him. Okay. By God, you're mad, man. I suggest you use the goats, Dutton. I think we'll use ourselves instead. <laughs> I am here. <laughs> and coffee. Coffee in the evening. I'd be awake all night. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You travel all by yourself? She came with her husband, sir. Has her husband been eaten? Well, for not being prepared for coffee in the evening, they had it ready to go. Just arrived today. No one mentioned leopard. Sure they didn't. Don't worry, you'll be at the river camp tomorrow. No leopards there. Hippos and lions and crocodiles, but no leopards. I think the hippo would be more scary than the leopard. This is Africa. Everything's dangerous. Ma'am. <clears throat> My goodness. So that wasn't her husband? <laughs> Keep your heads down. Stay in the tent. These English might get crazy and start shooting a boogeyman. Mm. That is a consideration. So where they all going is where all the sheep are now. <laughs> Bruce's crew. Oh, by God, we are putting a lot of cattle on this land. Mm-hmm. You never take your cattle this high? Nobody takes cattle this high. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. <gasps> and this is how Jack dies. 
My dearest Spencer, summer is here and with it a pestilence of locust and the plague of drought. Your uncle and brother and young Jack are pushing the herd into the mountains in hopes of finding greener grass there. When the house is full and the ranch is busy, I can lose myself in the hurry of it and forget you're not here. I think of you and wonder why. Why won't you come home to us? Because he's got this woman out here he's got to protect who's going to die. <laughs> Unless she's choosing now to go to the bathroom. And this is how she dies. <laughs> At least gets mauled by a leopard. War changes men, I know. I can only assume you are seeking the part of yourself you lost. There are. Oh, it took her into the tree! It took her into the tree! The right, it was too easy for him. Benson, there are two! There are two! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that's where we left it. Okay. <laughs> Leopard attack, not on my Yellowstone bingo card. <laughs> Okay, I definitely, a uh, rewatch is going to be tremendously helpful because they introduced a lot of characters and I'm not sure who exactly is who and how they're related to each other. And for me, you know, I, I like a clean timeline and I like a clean chest, <laughs> chest board of knowing who's who, who was who. Because right now we've got three completely separate storylines and how they all feed in together uh, Jacob, Annie, that was what? Top, cattle, locusts have eaten the grass. There's no grass for everybody. Everybody's fighting, must find grass for cattle. Then we've got Spencer in Africa, dealing with traumas from the war. Great, kind of know how they're related. Spencer, I guess, I don't know if Spencer's, because oh Elsa's was, only one child survived to carry on the debt name, but it didn't seem like there was because we had Jack. And he wrote, your brothers and young Jack, Jack's a nephew. It seemed like Spencer was the one Dutton child that survived. So yeah, I'm gonna have to watch that again. And then we have the, the Native American school and whoever she was, I don't even think I caught her name. What does that have to do with the rest of them? No clue at this point. Yeah, so that's how we are. Um, the one thing, I am slightly disappointed and I don't know, again, we are at the beginning, so I don't know where we're gonna go, but it's, so 1883, when I heard about it, was the promise of how the Duttons founded Yellowstone, and it wasn't, it wasn't. Sure, we saw eventually how they made it to Yellowstone, but it wasn't how they found it, it's just how they arrived there. Jack Squat had to do with the Yellowstone series that we know. So now we got this one. So I was hoping, okay, we're gonna find out more about James and what's her name, Faith Hill's descendants, who then created Yellowstone, but it wasn't. They died 10 years, 11 years, 12 years after they got there. And it's then been Jacob's crew who came out of nowhere 
to take whatever James had started to, I guess, what it is now. I wanted the story of how Yellowstone came from planting a flag to here we are. I mean, that's the story I wanted. And we're not going to get that story. I guess we're just going to get the story of how Yellowstone survived. <laughs> okay, now hopefully it's entertaining. Hopefully it's entertaining. I just want to be entertained. Um, so was this episode entertaining? To a point, I'm learn I'm the tiles are being laid on the table, so there's really not a lot to be entertained with. Although Lucifer Pilot, highly entertaining, as the tiles are being laid on the table. Fewer tiles. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just getting too overwhelmed. Too many tiles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got some of the pleat pieces. Who survived this? Well, we know who didn't, blonde lady. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so here's episode one. We have seven more to go, and I do want you there with me on the journey. So if you haven't already hit subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And until the next time, please, um, this is your reminder to stand, touch your toes, go get something to eat, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.